Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome to Evening Prayer with myself, Gordon McGuinness, on this Wednesday evening. It's the end of June, we're into July, and it seems quite strange that we've been in lockdown for over three months. It began in March, when the days were shorter and colder and darker. And now here we are in midsummer, and the lockdown continues albeit with some changes happening around us. In these times of uncertainty, it's good to draw near to God and to allow his spirit to calm us and to lead us. So let us pray. <clears throat> In the quiet of evening, may our God be with us, his spirit fill us, and the unity of the Godhead be the bond between us. The Lord God is here, his presence is with us. Let our hearts be warmed, his grace is within us. Let our spirits soar, his love inspires us. Some words from Psalm 147. Sing praise to the Lord who is good. Sing to our God who is loving. The Lord brings up Jerusalem and brings back Israel's exiles. God heals the brokenhearted and binds up all their wounds. God fixes the number of the stars and calls each one of them by name. The Lord is great and all-knowing. God's wisdom can never be measured. The Lord raises the lowly and humbles the wicked to the dust. O oh, sing to the Lord giving thanks, sing praise to our God with the harp. God covers the earth with clouds and prepares rain for the earth. God clothes the mountains with grass and with plants to serve human needs. God provides the beasts with their food and tends to the young raven's cry. God takes no delight in weapons nor pleasure in warriors' strength. God delights in those who show reverence, in those who trust in God's love. Some words from Paul's letter to the Ephesians. <clears throat> I pray that out of his glorious riches, God may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have power together with all the Lord's holy people to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ. Jesus' words to each one of us. Come to me, all you who are weary <clears throat> and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. And these words will be part of our reading this coming Sunday at Cafe Church. So let's pause to reflect upon their meaning for us this evening. God, who graciously brings us through troubled times and desert places, embrace us with your love. God, whose spirit fills us, who lifts the weak to higher places, embrace us with your love. God, who patiently leads us through well-known and challenging places, embrace us with your love. So let us pray. When I say the words, Gracious Lord, the response is, We lift up your name. We pray for our planet. 
for the places where it is wounded, where it is broken, where human ignorance and human greed have caused deep wounds in the planet that is our home. Let's pray for the healing of our world. Let's pray for such things as climate change and how to respond to it. Let's pray for God to lift up those who have a vision to guide us into better ways of stewarding the creation that surrounds us. Father, we pray for those countries most blighted by climate change and we pray for a global resolve to heal the problems of our world. For a world gifted to us that it might be shared in love, gracious God, we lift up your name. We pray for the marginalised, those who have nothing, <clears throat> but we have everything. Let's bring to God those who are the poorest, the most overlooked, the most ignored, in our own communities and in our planet. We pray for the destitute, for those who have literally almost nothing. Father, in our own rich culture, we pray for those who rely on food banks. for those who don't know where their next meal is coming from. for families where there is work but there isn't enough income. We pray for those who work in the sweatshops of the Far East to provide the cheap clothing and other goods that we enjoy.
gracious God, we lift up your name. For all who suffer through illness or infirmity, we bring to you, Lord God, those who are sick in body, mind or spirit. That might include ourselves. It will certainly include those we love. And it will definitely enclose, include those for whom we are helpless to do anything that might change their situation. We call to mind those whom Jesus healed with a word, not because they deserved it, but because they needed it. We call to mind those apostles who, acting in the power and in the name of Jesus, reached out to those who needed God's healing touch. <clears throat> we bring to God those known to us who need that healing touch today. Lord, I pray for Stuart Tilling, who had a test today, and just who needs to know your presence and your love. pray for those in care homes whose loved ones cannot visit them, remembering Doreen, John and Neville. And I pray for Amy. For Susie. Lord, we pray for all those in parochial and other ministries within the church who, because of circumstances, personal or otherwise, feel at the end of their tether and wonder how long this will be going on. Gracious Lord, we lift up your name. And we pray for those who have lost their way, whether because of stupid or unwise decisions, whether because of circumstances beyond their control. <clears throat> like the Emmaus too in the Gospel story, they have lost their way and they're going in the wrong direction. We do not judge them. We do not look down on them because we have been, at least in part of our lives, as part of them. We pray for those who need to find the true path. Whether it's those who need to come to faith in Jesus, those who need to discover that God is not the angry or distant tyrant that they have supposed, are those who simply do not realise that they are loved. We bring to God those who need to meet Jesus on the road and have them, have him rather, turn them around. Let's bring those known to us who need to find the true path to God this evening. I pray for my brother Stuart and his family, my nephews, Fraser, Jack, Charlie, and my niece, Molly. I 
I pray for the many who have accessed online worship in this town and in other parts of our country who have never been to church and have never seen the need for religion but feel in their souls the need for answers and direction. of home or stability, gracious Lord, we lift up your name. And as this day draws to a close, we bring to your feet those whose lives touched ours just for a moment today. For smiles exchanged hasty greetings, online conversations, Zoom meetings, brief encounters with people we may not know very well, but who are precious in your sight. Bless these and other moments, and may all such encounters scatter a seed of your love into the fertile earth of each day. Lord, we've already forgotten most of what happened yesterday. We will forget, forget most of what happened today. But you will remember. And when we've acted out of love, out of faith, out of a deep yearning that you might change our world, you will bless that. You will not forget that you will complete your heaven in earth because of it. And so we say together the prayer that our Lord taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. As we come to the close of our time of prayer together, May we never walk in solitude or fear, but may the fellowship of the Spirit warm our hearts. May the love of the Saviour bring us joy, and may the shelter of the Father's arms forever keep us safe. So may the blessing of the divine dance that is Father, Son and Holy Spirit be upon us, and remain with us now and forever. Amen.